So let's move on to angles. Now if you didn't get a good grasp of probability, please do revisit the topic. In angles we're going to be focusing on two main subtopics, angle types and corresponding and alternate angles. Let's start off with angle types. There are several different types of angles that you can come across. Let's work through these examples. With this first example, you will notice that this angle here is actually less than 90 degrees. Remember, 90 degrees means a right angle, so it's perpendicular to the horizontal line here. This angle here is only 45 degrees, so the name of that angle is an acute angle. Let's look at this example here. This angle is more than 90 degrees. It's 110 degrees, which is more than a right angle. So, if it's more than a right angle but less than a straight line, the name of this angle here is obtuse. Next example. Let's look at this example here. This angle here is 260 degrees, which is less than 270 degrees, which is 3 quarters, but more than a straight line, which is 180 degrees. The name of this angle here is a reflex angle. Let's move on to parallel lines. Let's go with this example here. We have a straight line running through the parallel lines. Corresponding and alternate angles can also be called Z and F angles. Look at the F that is highlighted in this example here. If you look at these two angles, they will also be the same. So if you can spot an F in the parallel line, remember that those two angles will always be the same. Z angles. Look at this example here. If there's a straight line running between the two parallel lines, these two angles which formulate a Z or an alternate angle will always equal the same as well. Now you should have a firm grasp of angles. Let's move on to the next topic, area and volume.